Hey everyone, I'm back to talk about a new update, and that is the Adobe Muse CC 2014.2 update that came out, uh, I believe it was yesterday. And uh, with that update, we gained a couple of new features that are really, really cool, long-awaited features. And the first one that I'm going to talk to you guys about is the ability to now use SVG, or Scalable Vector Graphics, in our Adobe Muse websites. And it's something that we've been begging for for a long time. Uh, so currently I've got a canvas here that just has a rectangle, another rectangle, and a text box. And I'd like to fill this void over here on the left hand side with a graphic. And on my desktop I do have an SVG graphic from the Icon Mega Pack, And I can just go ahead and drag that into Muse. And I can place it just like any other graphic. You'll notice it gets distorted for a moment but then it snaps into place. And uh, with that it appears to be a raster graphic. When I mouse over it, it does say SVG to remind me. Uh, but the idea is, when I preview this in the browser, that it is of no specific pixel dimensions. Um, it is displayed at a size. It's displayed at the size that I scaled it to. Uh, but if I zoom in, zoom way, way in as far as the browser will allow me to, uh, you'll notice that the edges remain perfectly crisp, perfectly clear, because this graphic is made of code, it's made of math, it's made of numbers, it's not made of pixels like a traditional graphic, so it does not lose resolution uh, even at larger sizes. It's really phenomenal. So let's look at a couple of different ways to do this. The first way uh, I've just demonstrated, you may drag an SVG file directly into your canvas. Another way to go about it, if you're an Illustrator user, which most SVG file users will be Illustrator users, I'm going to go ahead and open this up in Illustrator. And I'll make a change to it. For instance, the color. Uh, I'll just go ahead and change this to white, or I could even do like a very, very light green. And I can now select this and hit copy. And then I can go over and paste it into Muse. But before I do that, uh, one thing to note is that SVG files can come from a lot of different places. They can be coded in various ways. And uh, you may run into the problem that I'm about to demonstrate. So I'm going to hit paste. And you'll notice I get a box with a question mark inside it. Now this isn't supposed to happen. In a perfect world this would never happen. But again, this is the same file that I just dropped in and had no problem with. I'm simply copying and pasting it from Illustrator now. So if you're like me and you go and test something to see if it works and you get a result like that, you just assume it's not meant to work that way. And it's actually some strange issue with certain SVG files being copied and pasted from Adobe Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this graphic and I'm going to open up the Pathfinder in Adobe Illustrator and I'm just going to use the Unite Pathfinder which is just going to merge all these layers together um, and honestly they, they were already kind of merged together but it's actually going to restructure the layers and it's going to restructure my selection and uh, for some reason it fixes it so now I'm going to hit copy come back over here and hit paste and sure enough that solves the problem it fixes the issue it's kind of weird. I mean, it's a problem that doesn't make a ton of sense to me. Uh, the solution also doesn't make a ton of sense, but fortunately I figured it out just by fooling around and uh, that does solve the problem. So I'll preview that in the browser and same result as we had when dragging the SVG file directly in. We've got this flawless, infinitely scalable vector graphic. Now vector graphics or SVG files aren't compatible with 100% of browsers out there, but fortunately they're compatible with most of them, uh, especially most of the mainstream ones, the latest versions of Internet Explorer, Firefox, um, Chrome, and Safari, so that covers most of your bases. It's also completely mobile compatible. So next I'm going to delete this vector graphic and I'm going to show you guys the third and final way of implementing these SVG files, and uh, that is with a document that I have on my desktop, and this SVG file is a box. Uh, with an image inside it. So it's more uh, it's more of like a banner in a sense and I'm going to use this as a fill for a shape. And uh, the advantage to doing this is just like with your raster graphics, your pixel based graphics, uh, you can have it scale to fit the box. Uh, essentially uh, you can have a box be 100% page width and for those of you who are unfamiliar with that uh, with my box selected as long as it goes to the very edges of the uh, browser area in Muse, it'll automatically fill the width of the, the web browser. So you can see here when I preview in the browser and I stretch this out, the green box goes all the way to the edge. Uh, we, don't, we don't scale beyond it and see white space. So the cool thing is with graphics uh, inside of a box like that, uh, we, can, we can achieve a, a stretchy graphic that fills the width of the browser. 
And the way we do that is by going up to the toolbar at the top and clicking the word fill. And then here we can add an image as a background for this box. And when I choose add image, I'll choose my memory card SVG file that's in that blue box. That's the way it was designed. And it was designed in uh, Adobe Illustrator. And with that, I have it set so the fitting is scale to fill and the position is centered, which it doesn't have to be, but in my case, it looks best when centered uh, simply because this graphic is meant to be centered. So scale to fill centered. Now what that's going to do is it's going to become stretchy because it's scaling to fill the box and the box is scaling to fill the width of the browser. So let me preview this in the browser again. And you can see that as I make the browser bigger and smaller, the uh, graphic is actually scaling along with it, just like it would with a regular pixel based graphic. The difference is because it's an SVG file, I could stretch it up and down all day long and it's not going to lose any quality. It's going to remain perfectly crisp and perfectly clear. And if I zoom out, you can see that the stretchability is, is pretty extreme. And if someone's on uh, a drastically different screen resolution than you've designed the site at, then it, it is pretty important that it stretches and scales to fill their screen without becoming destroyed. So these SVG files really open things up to start getting a little more responsive with your websites to respond to different screen resolutions. And uh, though it is true that Adobe Muse doesn't wholeheartedly support responsive design, this is definitely a step in the right direction. So uh, I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you're Illustrator users and um, you're incorporating these sorts of graphics in your design, then you can head over to museresources.com and you can pick up your uh, Icon Mega Pack. Uh, vector edition because the vector edition gives you these SVG files uh, that will work very 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 well with the latest update to Adobe Muse so stay tuned I've got another video coming soon on the second half of this update and that video is gonna talk about synchronizing text between text boxes subscribe if you haven't already I'll see you guys soon